In this day in the life of a Mahjong player, we're going to do another unboxing. Can you see the size of this box? Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's a Mahjong set. I said I wasn't gonna buy more vintage Mahjong sets, but I played Mahjong with a new friend in Santa Barbara, Judy. I loved your set and I just had to have one, so I've been on the hunt and I found one. I've actually been on a couple and I lost the bids, I lost whatever that is. When you bid and lose on eBay, I lost. But this one, I won. So let's open it up and check it out. I got my knife, hold your breath. Okay, I didn't cut it in the right place. Okay, how do you get into this box? Here we go. Oh, it's taped and glued. Oh, oh my goodness. Here we go. I don't have a very strong grasp with my thumb. I don't know what the deal is with that. I got it. Okay. Sharp pointy things in me don't get along. Paper. Here it is. Oh, it's heavy. Huh? A bubble wrap stuck to the counter. Oh. Okay, got to make sure everything is copacetic with the second camera. Okay, now I know this case is in really bad shape. I didn't buy it because of the case. I bought it because of the tiles. I'm going to use a different case, a contemporary case. But yeah, this is a hot mess. See that? It looks pretty bad. Oh wow, it's leather. That's weird. I wasn't expecting, ooh. Okay, it's dusty. All right, so look at how that has faded. All right, well, it looks from the outside. The case is actually in good shape except for the handle's a mess. That's all right. I'm not going to use that. I'll keep it in case I ever resell it. Okay, we're going to open it up. I'll open it this way. Here we go. I guess I should tell you what it is. It's a vintage Bakelite Chinese set. No numbers. I hope to use it for my Hong Kong Mahjong practice. Oh, the zipper's nice. Here we go. We're going to open it up. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh, they're just like I remember, Judy. 
Oh, I fell in love with that set. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It is so pretty. And I was a little nervous about the ink. I, I was thinking that maybe the ink would not be clear, you know, that I'd have to maybe get it redone. But it looks really, really good. Okay, I got a little, I had a little mini panic attack for a second because there were gaps, but the tile just fell out. Everything's okay, they're all here. Whew, this cost a pretty penny. I'm not gonna tell you how much I spent on it, but I think it's worth it. This is going to be an inheritance piece for my son. Look at those backs. Isn't that a beautiful color? The case is in pretty good shape. It's a little stained, but that's all right. Original dice, they look pretty gnarly. I don't think I'll use those though. I'll save them, but okay. So this case has seen better days. Okay, the zipper <laughs> is not as, okay, there it goes. All right, I thought I was gonna have to get out some WD-40. All right, now, let's see here. I'm just gonna turn these over real quick. Oh, they feel really nice. They're kind of heavy. Oh, I'm so relieved. I was really nervous bidding on this thing. But I was the high bidder this time. I was afraid someone was gonna swoop in and take it from me on the very last second. But I got it. There it is. They're beautiful. Look. Okay, now I am going to inventory them and then I'm going to put them upside down on the table and mix them up and see how it feels on the table. I was a little worried that they will be sticky on the table and they'll be hard to mix, but I think they're going to be okay. So let's go to the table. Four trays. I think they're covered in paper. Maybe not, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna flip them. I think it's some kind of vinyl. Okay, they look pretty good. Here's one with a chip. One. I don't think it's too noticeable. Two dot. That's not bad. Oh, nice. They're easier to mix than my other Cantonese set. Let's check out the tiles and see how they look on camera. Uh-oh. Got a pinch real, oh my goodness. Okay, these are gonna take some practice.
they're not very pinchable. Okay, I'm a little concerned that you can't see them very well. I mean, they're really pretty though. Can you see those okay? You can kind of see through the back a little. I mean, I think, I think that's part of the charm. Two flowers, four and three. I would play all chow, potential chow, chow, pair, potential chow, potential chow. Ooh, that's a good sign. One, two, three, four, five blocks, ready to go. Chow here, already done, already done. Chow here and here, all ready. Two discards for all chow. Very pretty. I like it. So I am going to inventory now and I'll have photos. So you can see all of them in their glory. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next day in the life of a Mahjong player, may all your picks be keepers.